Texas, to fix anything, you grab a line, you grab cilantro, and I can fix anything. I can't. I mean, and that's just a little chef's secret. But uh, so I was so happy to see these oils. When I seen fresh cilantro oil, which was outstanding, and it was a uh, jalapeno lime, I can't fix anything. So anyway, this dish, I do a sandwich. Anyway, I roasted this in the kitchen, and, I, and on your thing, I, I roasted it to about one. You're supposed to roast it to about 140, but one little chef's secret is take it out a little bit early because it carries over. So a lot of times when you're cooking something, you want to uh, take it out, you know, 5 to 10 degrees. You know, you have to cook certain items to certain temperatures, but it will carry over, So when, especially when it comes to salmon. So anyway, I got about, on your cards, I put, I think, an 8-ounce salmon so you can do this at home. But I'm going to put a little bit more so I can feed everybody. <coughs> But um, like I said, and all I did is I coated this with the cottonseed oil, which is neutral, and it has a high heat point, and roasted it. I did not put no salt and pepper at all, because I want the oils to do the job, and then I have a little marinade that I was going to put on it as well. But um, I have uh, red onion. I'm just going to add to it. I'm going to get all over the ground. And tomatillos. Everybody knows about tomatillo, right? It's not, a, it's not a green tomato. It comes from the boysenberry family. It comes in a husk. But it's, it's really acidic and uh, almost like a lime acidic. So I'm going to put that in there. And like I said, I'm not going to use no salt and pepper. I, do, I did use, I have a marinade. It's a Maggie sauce, they called it. And it really, it's, it's almost like, a, I would say, a Mexican soy sauce. But that's going to be my salt. Now my flavor. That was simple so far, right? Roasted my salmon, my Maggie. And I diced my onions and my tomatillos. So, what should you want to call that? So I have my lime jalapeno. And I'm going to, I have some measuring spoons. But you know, chef never measures. I'm doing this in front of you. <laughs> <laughs> some potato. Okay, and then fresh, fresh cilantro. And like I said, I thought I'd never use anything that, didn't, that wasn't fresh cilantro, especially in San Antonio, <laughs> until, I, until I got this. But you're going to see the flavors are outstanding. And I'm going to have to let that overflow just a little bit because I love cilantro. But uh, either you love it, you hate it. And, and actually, that's the recipe. So she's just going to mix that up. And we're going to put it on in a, in a plate for you and we're going to pass them out. And then I did Christine's with it as well. And I put the garlic cottonseed oil, just a couple drops on that. And I just uh, roasted those up. So you're going to taste the salmon salt pecone coming up. And like I said, very easy. Roasted salmon. Two of the oils, fresh cilantro, the jalapeno lime, and then like I said, this Maggie sauce, it's almost like a soy, it's, it's the salt from a soy sauce, but um, in San Antonio, I think you're going to love this, these flavors, uh, and while they're going to do that, I, don't wanna, I didn't want to bore you and waste your time, but um, to my guys and girls in the kitchen, they made, a, they made an iced tea for you guys, if you want to taste it, it does have a little alcohol, sorry, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> So I was going to pass out a Texas iced tea for you guys. Um, while well, they're going to spoon this up for you, and we're going to pass this out, you can taste it. But very simple. I didn't have to chop the cilantro. I didn't have to do my lime juice, um, my jalapeno. I didn't have to chop that up. So just say it's my work for me. So the oils, neutral, and the, they're, they're just so flavorful. But you're going to taste this dish, and it's one of my favorite dishes that I, I sell here. But let me serve you some iced tea. How's that? <laughs> I got ice at the end.